Today we are going to create the sketch plane cube. After logging into Autodesk Inventor Professional, you need to start a new part. Once your part screen launches, you need to start a 2D sketch. When we create sketches in our class, we always use the XY plane. After selecting the correct plane, the first thing we want to do is draw a rectangle. I prefer to use the two-point center rectangle so that I can start right on the center of the screen. Just put your box there and then we'll dimension it. The dimension tool is up top and our cube is going to be two by two by two. So I'm going to dimension the length of the square to two inches can zoom out a little bit by double clicking on the front view and I'm going to dimension the height of the square to two inches. After that we can finish our sketch, change to the home view, and we can extrude our sketch. It automatically extrudes to one inch but we're going to change that setting to two inches so that we have a completed two by two by two cube. And there it is. I'll switch to the home view. We're going to add three features to this cube. The first feature we will add by starting a new sketch and clicking on the front of the cube. Here I'm going to add a circle right on the center of my cube. The circle will have a diameter dimension tool. Click on the circle, change it to one inch. Now I'm going to finish the sketch and I'm going to extrude the circle by clicking extrude and it changed it to two inches but I just want it to come off half an inch or 0.5 and then I click OK. The second feature I want to add to my cube is a square coming off the right hand side of the cube. So I'm going to start a new sketch, click on the right hand side and I'm going to draw cube or a square with my center point rectangle and I'm going to place it right in the center and there we go. Now I need to put some dimensions on this square. The first dimension will be the length of the square which I want to be one inch. The height of the square I want to be one inch as well. Then I'm going to click on the center of my square, then the top of my cube and I want it to be one inch from the top so that it's perfectly centered on my cube. Then I'm going to click on the center of the square, the right hand side of the cube, and make sure it's one inch from there. I had a two by two by two cube and now I have a one inch square drawn onto the side of it and I dimensioned it so it's one inch from the side and the top. I'm now finished drawing. I'm going to click Finish Sketch, Extrude, and I'm going to click on the square I just drew, and it comes off half an inch. Looks good. The final feature that I'm going to do is place a hole, which is up top in our Features environment. I'm going to click Hole, and I'm going to click right on the top of my cube. That's going to put a hole through the entire thing. First, let's change the size of the hole. The hole is going to have a diameter of 0.5 inches. I'm then going to click on reference number one. At that point, I can click on any side of the top of my cube. This is how far it is from the center of the circle to that side of the cube. Currently, it is 0.9. I'm going to change that to one. Then I'm going to click on reference point number two. I'm going to click on an adjacent side of my cube and make sure it's set to one. Finally, I meant to set the diameter to one inch. So I'm going to change that to one. And now I have a one inch hole perfectly placed on the center of the top of my cube going through the entire cube. 
I'm going to click apply and then close that and my cube is totally done. If I rotate it you can see all the way through the cube itself and you can see the two components the circle and the square coming off of the cube and there's nothing on the other sides. Once you are done you need to save your cube. You do that by clicking on the capital I in the upper left corner and then clicking Save As. Name the file Cube and place it in a location where you can find it. That's all you guys have to complete for the day. Good luck!